So here we have a manufacturer who is making a product, let's say they're screws, and they believe the lengths are skewed right if they look at the distribution with a mean of 10.3 inches and a standard deviation of 0.8 inches. Now the question here is if 35 items are chosen at random, what's the probability that their mean length is greater than 10.4 inches? So once we have a uh, a sample, 35 items, and we're looking at the mean in a sample, we have to apply the central limit theorem to figure out what's going on. In this case, we want a mean, look for if a mean length is greater than, so that would be a right tail here in the picture. And so on a spreadsheet, they, spreadsheet formulas only do left tails, so we would have to do one minus to calculate the right tail, because 100% is all of the probability uh, underneath the normal distribution curve. So let's look at this setup in both the spreadsheet and in StatKey. So first the spreadsheet. So in my spreadsheet I want to make a note I'm finding uh, I have a mean here 10.3 inches, standard deviation of 0.8 inches, and a sample size of 35. And then I want to calculate the central limit theorem version of the standard deviation. And the central limit theorem says always grab the standard deviation of the population divide by the square root of the sample size. So in this case, I'll just go equals, grab that standard deviation, divide by SQRT parentheses for square root, and then grab the sample size, close your parentheses, enter. Now to get the probability, you can see it highlighted here. I want to uh, enter the x value I'm, I'm wondering about, and that was from the question. I wanted to know uh, when the mean is greater than 10.4 inches. So that 10.4 is my x value. I have the one minus in front because I'm doing a right tail, not a left tail. Normal distribution calculators and spreadsheets only do left tails, so we do a one minus to compensate. Uh, B1 here is the mean of the population, and then the next thing I need is my standard, dis standard deviation, which is adjusted because I have a sample of size 35. So I'm using the new standard deviation, and we always enter true for the fourth parameter in uh, a normal distribution probability calculation. So it's always x value, mean, standard deviation, true. And then you have to decide if it's a left tail or right tail. Left tail is just the norm dist. If it's a right tail, it's 1 minus the norm dist. And so I get about uh, 0.23, uh, so about 23% is the chance that we would find a sample of size 35 with a mean of 10.4 or higher. So let's look at that in stat key. So here's the graph in stat key. To get there from the stat key page, I want theoretical distributions normal. And then I want to edit my parameters to set my mean. And that was the 10.3. And I have to calculate the standard deviation ahead of time. So I have to whip out a calculator, like in my spreadsheet here, take the old standard deviation, divide by the square root of the sample size, calculator says 0.13522, I usually grab four or five decimal places. So 0 0.13522. So what that does is it rebuilds the scale for the normal distribution to have the right center and the right spread. And now I can go for a right tail and set the x value to 10.4. And the nice thing here is Stacky draws that picture. So you want to get in the habit of drawing these pictures too to kind of conf to f confirm what you're talking about. So I'm going to do that next. So I have about 23%, which is what the spreadsheet said. So often I'm going to do this a couple of different ways to confirm I have it right. <clears throat> and that's what I have summarized uh, over here. So here's the formula for your spreadsheet. And again, my formula. I need my x value, the mean, that's supposed to be an x right there, there we go, whatever the standard deviation is, and then true is always the last parameter. And if you were going to draw this picture by hand, you need to know the mean, the standard deviation, and the x value. So to hand draw this to kind of think about it. There's my best normal curve with this particular tool. So I've got 10.3 in the middle. And so again, that's my mu. My standard deviation, that was approximately 0 0.15. Or was it 13? Let's see. Uh, 1.3. So 0 0.14, let's go with that.
So I'm going to the right. So if I add that to this, I'll be at, uh, let's see, 10.44 would be right one standard deviation to the right. And if I want another standard deviation to the right, that would be about 10.58 and so on. I'm concerned about 10.4, which would be just inside one standard deviation. And so that would be the area that I'm looking for here. And that would be the probability that the mean of a sample is greater than 10.4. And to figure out where to draw that line, I need to know the center and the spread according to the standard deviation. And that, again, came from the central limit theorem, which says anytime you have a sample mean, you have to adjust by taking the standard deviation of the population, sigma, and dividing by the square root of the sample size. And then that gives you the right scale. Hope that was helpful. Good luck. Bye-bye.